everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day and we are doing violin video number two that you can practice along with at home. I hope you enjoyed the first violin video and we are preparing for our next quarterly performance that will be coming up at the end of the quarter in December. So we're just going to start with a few things, the basics, and we'll make more videos as we get closer to our performance. One thing I want to point out right at first, moms, dads, uncles, aunts, whoever's watching this video, um, this is uh, called a shoulder rest. This is something that I would love for each violin student to have. Um, you can buy them on Amazon for as cheap as uh, eight to ten dollars. Um, if you would like to, if you were able to purchase one of these for your child, please text me. I can send you a link with the correct size of shoulder rest. What this does is to help with something that we're really focusing on this quarter, and that is holding the violin correctly, the violin posture. It's very important that they have correct posture so that they can play correctly and beautifully. So one thing that um, we always, we've been starting with in class is holding your arms out like a T. So kids, hold your arms out like you're a giant T, okay? And then have somebody help you put the violin underneath of your chin to where it lays right above your arm, okay? And then you're gonna look over at your hand. And then you'll pull your hand in to hold the violin shoulder. That is going to give you the most beautiful violin posture, okay? This elbow should never be touching my side. I know it's very easy to slump down and let the elbow touch the side, but it should always, there should always be a little daylight between the elbow and our side so that we can keep the violin nice and tall and we can have this beautiful violin posture. Then we have the bow hand. We've talked about the bow hand before in our last video. I wanna introduce the bunny bow, bunny ears bow. We have the two teeth that hang out like bunny teeth and then we have the two ears. Okay, so the two teeth hang over a little bit on the bow, then we lay down the first ear and then we put the ear right, the last ear right on top, baby on top, always. Then we lay the bow right down in the middle of the road like we talked about last time so that we can get a beautiful sound. If we get too close to the bridge, oh, it squeaks and it sounds terrible. And if we get too close onto the fingerboard, then it starts sounding really awful too. It sounds like fingernails on a chalkboard. So we wanna make sure that our elbow is away, that our violin is out, our scroll is facing our neighbor just like in class. We've got the bunny ears bow, car right in the middle of the road. Now one of the first songs we're going to be learning in this quarter is called the bunny song. For the bunny song, you just use your fingers. You don't use your bow, right kids? We just use our fingers. So take out your little plucky fingers and we're going to pluck on the E string. It starts like this. Drum it like a guitar at the end, okay? A very important thing to, learn, to remember while plucking is to pluck up on the fingerboard part. This is where you're allowed to be up on the fingerboard part. Okay, so let's do that one more time just so you can see a little closer. My thumb is at the end of the fingerboard. We're not plucking back here in the middle of the road. That's where the bow goes, but we pluck up here. Okay, so we start with the E string, the baby string, the Ethan string, if you remember it by names. and they all love to strum the violin, it's so fun. That's one of our first songs, like I said, that we're gonna be learning um, in our class next week. So you can get a head start on that at home. The next thing, guys, is a song about a monkey. It is one of my favorite songs ever, and you'll find it in your notebook. It has a picture of a monkey on it, and it has a ladder with numbers, zero, one, two, and three. What we do is we climb up the monkey ladder on our violins. Zero, one, two, three. Then we do three, two, one, zero, just like you're learning to count in class. So what we do is, this is the very first time that we are going to put our fingers on these tapes that are on our violin. So what we do is we hold the baby's neck up with our thumb, right? 
you'll have a little star sticker on your violin just like I have one on mine where your thumb belongs. So you put your thumb on the home sticker and then put your bow on the baby string, car right in the middle of the road and get ready. Remember we practiced one finger on one tape, two finger on two tape, three finger on three tape, and then we do three, two, one, zero. Okay, it goes like this. I'm a little monkey climbing up the ladder, climbing way up high to pick a pink banana. I'm a little monkey climbing down the ladder, climbing way down low to eat my pink banana. Bow up and then take a bow. We always have to take a bow. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time just so you can get a little more practice on it. This is the mo this is a tricky part. It's where we're starting to put our fingers down. When you put your fingers down, it's always important that you put them right on the tip of your fingers. Okay, so you're just like a little spider crawling up and down the ladder. Okay, let's try it one more time. Ready? Beat, beat, here we go. I'm a little monkey. Climbing up the ladder, climbing way up high to pick a pink banana. I'm a little monkey, climbing down the ladder, climbing way down low to eat my pink banana. Bows up and take a bow. All right, that's all for today, and we will be learning more songs at our next class. See you then.